In this video, I want to go over some coloring techniques for a montage. And before I do that, I just wanted to share how I organize my work when I'm actually putting in some basic colors for my montage. You can see here that I've got each character on its own layer. I've got the inks and directly underneath that, I've got just a basic color. I'll be modifying this color later on if I so choose. But where this is really advantageous is that I can hold down the command key or the control key and I can easily make a selection for each character and object that's within this montage. What I want to do next is I want to isolate this central character and have a monochromatic background. And I want to share some techniques that you can use um, to explore this without having to spend a lot of time. Let's first make a brand new layer above everything else. And we'll go ahead and pick a reddish value. I'm going to hit Option, Delete. Oops. That would be the right Option, Delete. Uh, Control, Delete will uh, fill in the background color. And what I want to do next is I want to make a selection that includes just the hero in the center. Now, if I were to hit Command X, you can see that it also includes another um, character in this selection. And I don't want that. I just want to select the girl only. So what do I do? Let me first hit undo. And let's go to the layer that contains the lady that's fighting the guy. And so here's that layer. If I command click that, I can get a selection around that figure. What I want to do next is I want to go up to select, save selection. When I do that, I'll get a dialog box. And I'll just go ahead and say this is a uh, my selection. I'll click OK. And that selection is now saved. What I want to do next is I want to go down to the lady, uh, to the heroine, and I want to hit Command to select her. This is on the color layer for this particular character. And then next what I'll do is I'll go to Select, Load Selection, and I will choose Subtract from Selection. And what I want to subtract is my selection. Notice that you can also optionally choose to invert these selections if you wish. I'll click OK. And now you can see just the main character selected. Now if I were to hit Command J and hide everything else, we see that only our central character is preserved. Now I'll pause here and say that this is a great way to get a silhouette for your character. And this might be kind of a neat thing if you're trying to uh, inject a sense of mystery into who the central character is, you can turn her into a silhouette. So that's an option. Something else that you can also do is with that selection, let's now turn the red layer on and let's inverse the selection and hit Command J. I'll turn off this other layer and I can go now to hue and when I do that I can see that everything outside of our central character has now a reddish hue and I can adjust that with command U I can choose the monochromatic palette that I want maybe I want to have more greens and then what would make this pop a little bit more is if I had like a red silhouette or optionally, what I could do is I could go back in and I could fill our hero with a completely different color, just something that makes her stand out. Now, this is just another coloring technique. It's another way that you can work. This is working with entirely flat colors, but what this does is it creates a focal point through color. We can see that the main character is the focus and all the other elements around her compositionally are um, kind of supporting that focal point. That's not to say that I haven't also included leading lines. I've added some boxes here to keep 
the viewer moving through the composition. And it also unifies this design and kind of connects everything together. So this is just one way that you can work. You can always add highlights and shadows and other things like that, but I'd be remiss to say that there are some great ways just to incorporate color flats. And this is a really cool technique that I think might be useful. So give it a try. Those uh, load and save selection options are fantastic and they're vastly underutilized. So um, this is a great way to preserve your selections for later reuse. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I appreciate and read all the comments that everyone provides and uh, the feedback as well. And uh, let me know if you want me to do more with this montage for the channel. Um, and you can drop a comment on my YouTube channel to let me know. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.